Well, I was going to work on this clay today, and uh, I'm just, I'm just rethinking it. And it's because uh, the clay is so different from what I've been using. I've got some worries about it, and, and one of those worries is when I get done with the finished clay, as complicated as it sometimes can be, and I have to take it to the foundry in the summertime, uh, what's going to happen to the uh, clay? Uh, it sits in a car, or a van in my case, in the heat of the sun. I mean, this clay softens up so easily under the slightest bit of temperature. And I'm just afraid the damn thing's going to start drooping and dripping all over the place. On top of the fact that uh, it, it's got certain qualities, sort of like working with wax, and maybe I'll use this stuff for detailed items uh, on sculptures I'll do in the future. But as far as uh, actually using this clay uh, for major sculptures and things like that, I think uh, that's out of the question for me. Other artists have more experience with it, I don't. And uh, I've spent too many years working with uh, plastiline clay to all of a sudden change over to another kind of clay. It's an interesting set of properties. I have no no uh, bad words to say about it. It's just, uh, for me, it ain't going to work out. I still work in J-Mac clay, and uh, I'm going to continue working in it. <laughs> but this next week, or next couple of days, I've got to move all my clays that are in the uh, gallery here locally back to my studio. And... Uh, I just cleared off that table over here so that I can uh, put my clays on that table. I put all the uh, armatures and things that were sitting on it down below the table. That's what I've done this day is just rearranging the studio a little bit and uh, I'm going to have to do some more rearranging in here. I've got to take a bunch of stuff over to, this, to the uh, storage unit uh, because I've got to get my car in here in the winter time and right now I can't I can get it in but I can't get to the far door and I can't get to the heater uh, settings and I, I just turned off the heater because I you know at night I don't need it on and there's no need to be running the heater when I'm not in here but uh, it's necessary to get it going when I am in here because it can get mighty, mighty cold, especially when it gets down to 20 degrees. Last night it was 20 degrees. So, I'll see you guys next week, and I apologize if you're disappointed in me. I'm sorry. I'm kind of uh, trying to decide what to do next. By the way, I am supposed to go to the Hunter's Speed tomorrow. Ennis, Montana has what they call a hunter's feed once a year and it's always the week or the day before hunting season opens up here in uh, the Madison Valley in this part of, the, of Montana and people from all over the valley and uh, the area come down to Ennis and they set up uh, tables on the street on the sidewalks and they cook food using wild game and I've seen dishes well dishes including yeah I'll get my hat up so you can see my face I've seen dishes uh, where they uh, made um, brown bear or not brown bear but black bear uh, stew uh, it's pretty good uh, bear was eaten by the mountain man it was uh, they're kind of like their pork uh, I have to think about it though when I put a spoonful in my mouth I'll tell you uh, mountain lion stew I've had that uh, people actually hunt mountain lions and they make stew out of them um, 
Yeah, eating a cat is a bit. You know, I, I I tried it because I like to try everything once, and it wasn't bad. It's just not something I'd want to sit down and eat twice. Um, but anyway. All right, I'll see you uh, next week, and uh, maybe I'll have a video for of the hunter's feed tomorrow. And uh, I don't know. It depends on how I feel. I just I'm pooped out this week. It's been a long friggin' two weeks. And uh, I'll see you guys next week. Have a great weekend.